just a little bit too little too late, unfortunately. So yeah, it was always a little bit of a... The target last season was to stay up, so it was really disappointing to go down on the last day of the season. We were unlucky last season. I thought we had some really good uh, performances at the tail end of the season. Um, but then it just things didn't go our way. And we picked up a few results and then we sort of taped off again towards the end of the season. We lost a few bad games. I mean, quite close to the season. So I only took over the club sort of two, two and a half weeks before the start of the season, so it was quite late in the day. Unfortunately, a lot of the boys had left the club by then, so I kind of inherited quite a small squad and we had to get players in very, very quickly so we could fill our fixtures. So yeah, it was always a little bit of a... The target last season was to stay up, so it was really disappointing to go down on the last day of the season when, uh, when our victory in the last day of the season would have kept us up in the end, which is um, always hard to take. In a way, it could be a positive for looking at it as this season gives us a real opportunity because now we can rebuild in the first division. If you look at clubs like Bancreef last year who went down and then bounced back with a, with a league in the cup in the bag and are coming back in the Super League with a spring in their step, and that's exactly what we intend to do. Fresh ideas, fresh players, fresh impetus right through the whole club to try and bounce back, go win this league in the first division then come back stronger than ever. <laughs> it was actually the first thing I said to them on Saturday when we started. Um, I, I want to make it crystal clear to the players, target is promotion. It's, we will not stop until we get that. That is the target. We, um, we need to bounce back. We want to do it the right way. It's not, it's not go up at any costs in that sense. We want to play good football. Stonehaven like to get the ball down. We like to play football the right way. We like to pass it, we like to get lots of shots on goal, we like to try and keep it tight at the back as well. Standard stuff really, but um, we want to go back up straight away. The, the first attempt, the first division is a tough league. We're not, we're not underestimating the league, but Stenhaven as a club should be a Super League club. That's where we belong. Treatment is difficult. It's, it's one of the harder areas of, of management at this level, at, at all levels actually. Um, things are different from when I played. The recruiting guys are different drivers for getting certain guys in. For me, the key's always been building that relationship with the player, understanding him, understanding what he wants, understanding how to get the best out of him. If you can do that before you sign him, then you know the kind of personality you're getting. We uh, we made some mistakes in, in, at previous clubs and, and early on last year when we maybe took somebody that didn't fit necessarily what we were looking for from a, from a personality perspective. And that's just as important as, as a technical and, and a quality perspective. I'm, I'm a project controls engineer as well, so it's, uh, I've got a full-time job as well, father of two as well, so I've kind of got three full-time jobs on the go, but it's a passion. You've got to want to do it. You've got to have the will for it, you know. The, it's not about money, it's not about anything else apart from love of the game. My name's Luke Mateuski, I'm the vice captain of Stonehaven Junior Football Club. Um, I've been here now for three seasons, but before that um, I actually signed when I was about 17, 18 years old. So it was about 20 years ago, so yeah, off and on probably for the last about 18 years we've been playing for Stonehaven. Yeah, it's a big commitment playing junior football because you're obviously training twice a week. They've got match days, Saturdays, uh, and often match days, Saturdays involve quite a lot of uh, travel time, especially in the league that we're going to be going to play in. So it's a big commitment. Um, got two young ones, uh, family and stuff like that, so it's a bit of a balancing act around their activities. You become a bit of a kind of taxi driver for them as well. So, um, but I think it's, it's good to kind of maintain that. Uh, physical, physical activity and it's good to show them that it's good to be involved in sport as well and hopefully they can take that on uh, to their kind of sporting um, kind of achievements as well so yeah that's good. Uh, I'm an electrician and um, so, so yeah it's a bit of a juggling uh, sort of scene where having to train twice a week a lot of travelling in this league as well going to places like Bucky. It's probably been over a period of time things can change you see at all levels actually things can change quite quickly uh, in, uh, in football and um, there is a bit of money going around in junior football that's kind of that's swung it to a few of the clubs. Um, and then there's the other side of that actually, is, is so Banks of the Year are dominating the junior scene, but they've done it in a completely different way. They've got a fantastic youth setup with very, very strong players coming through. We've actually benefited from that. We had a young lad on loan from Banks of the Year last season 
who's gone back there and that hopefully does very well. And we've got a very good relationship with Bank City and uh, we'll be looking to do some work with them in the future. And to be honest, I think Stonehaven should be looking at the Bank City model and the strength of that model and their youth setup feeding into their junior team and trying to build on that. That's, that's exactly what we should be doing. So Stonehaven as a club rely heavily on uh, sponsorship and donations from, from the local community. We, we reach out to the Stonehaven community quite a lot and some of these some of the companies and individuals that support us are, are phenomenal. It's incredible. Uh, not only the financial support but vocal support they come down and they support us on Saturday. Um, there's a variety of ways you can help with the club. So recently Dash Cabs, local taxi company, have agreed to sponsor the dugouts. Uh, Station Hotel are, are, uh, are take care of our corp corporate hospitality and they've also sponsored us for our training gear. Um, there's a Sumitomo, our, our long-term sponsors of Stonehaven, they've been fantastic. Um, the Blind Manny, who's a, who's a friend our guy I went to school with, which is a fantastic name, I think he wants to sponsor the referees, but he sponsors our, um, <laughs> our, our new bags and various different things. Um, all of our individual players have player sponsorship, so it's £100 to sponsor a player. We're, we're going to be looking for that from the community soon. When I, um, I'm a nightmare in the summer if you speak to my wife, I'm a nightmare in the summer when there's no football on because I'm bouncing off the wall on a Saturday. I'm not the type that's going to be walking down Union Street doing my shopping. It's, um, and, and my coaches and, the, and the, uh, the secretaries here just now are, are here doing work and these guys are all the same. They do it because they love the game.